Shalom, all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect by Shem Rechakwadash, my name is Yakaba from Planning Tables Camp. This is a movie, this lesson is based off of, I got three time stamps I'm going to go over, and it's a, uh, what, three, uh, 17 minutes, 48 seconds, 21 minutes, 18 seconds, and 31 minutes and 50 seconds around those times and it's a left behind rise of the antichrist and they're going to be showing you in the movie uh this thing that these christians believe about the rapture when you see a rapture fire is going to come down right after it all right meaning that i believe they say that the people that are before tribulation starts they're going to be saved from tribulation, which is not true. The elect are going to go through tri tribulation. All right. There's a precept to prove it. It says, Zechariah 13 and 8, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, which is America, saith America Babylon, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire. And I will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. I Meaning through the uh, tribulation. All right, doesn't mean like actual fire. We're not gonna how shall I write The elect, we are not gonna be on fire. We're gonna be through go through the fire. Meaning, figuratively tribulation. And I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God, or Yahweh is my God. All right. So, this proves right here that the elect know the Most High's name and his son's name, the Messiah. Because the third part is going to be refined and be brought through the tribulation. All right, and then when it when the uh, actual fire comes, the nuclear fire comes, that's when the elect are gonna go up into the into heaven, into the uh, which is like space or like lower or upper orbit, and, they, and the elect are gonna look down and see the destruction of Babylon right, from the chariots of Israel, from the from the ships. All right, so this clearly proves that the elect know the name because it says gonna call. On my name. So we're going to call on the name of the, of the Son, the Messiah, and the Father, Yahweh. This is my people. So the, 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 the elect of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, know the Lord's name. Right? Like that group, they don't know the Lord's name. They say uh, Christ, and, you know, and in a lot of the groups, they still say Christ, even though they know the name of the Lord is. Uh, Yahweh Shai. I should be K. They still say they constantly say Christ. So they're they're double tongued. Also, I should be K. And I U I C. They just say Christ all the time. All right. So let's go to this movie. And I believe Kevin Sorbo uh, is an Israelite. He directed the uh, movie, and he stars in it. He's one of the. Uh, Characters that are fought, that's followed in the movie. So it's a uh, is released, I guess not a major film, and uh, block you no know, comparative to the Hollywood ones because I didn't I tested it and it didn't even uh I don't think they registered it with the uh, YouTube uh, copyright servers. So hopefully I can play it. Possible, then I don't know what is. As cleanup efforts continue in the aftermath of the vanishings, the single most catastrophic event in all of human history, and security forces work to stem worldwide violence, there are still more questions than answers. Today, people still say the vanishings came with. All right, so they're, they're trying to be go along with the, you know what the scriptures say, even though they're wrong sometimes. Uh, that's the, no, the wars, rumors of wars. What's that? Uh, what the um, 
go to Matthew. Let's go keep this on the screen so you can see that. But 13, Matthew 23, 24. Let's go to, uh, just bear with me. Let's go to Matthew 23. Matthew 24 says, uh, 24 and 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom, and kingdom against kingdom, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right, we're definitely in uh, the age of wars and rumors of wars. Without a warning or any kind of explanation, but that's just not true. There were plenty of warnings and explanations. Just six months since tens of so they hid from the Nick flight. A pandemic of evil, doctor. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. So I guess we should just get right to the heart of the matter. What's going on? In the case of the vanishings, there's simply no historical knowledge. Remember these uh these are plantation Christianity they, they believe that the elect are going to be just disappear and everybody else is going to go through tribulation. No, the tribulation that they're going to go through is slavery. All right, and if you're in America, you're going to be either saved or you're going to be totally burnt to nothing. All right, so that's what they're talking about. So let me go to uh, 1748. When Jesus Christ show up. And I think he may be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not do this over the phone. Let's just say it's a, a rabbit hole. I do love a good rabbit hole. I'm on my way. That's Jesus Christ. So when you call on Christ, this is the man you get in your head. All right. So you go to Revelation, the first chapter. He's trying. You know, even though I believe, you know, Kevin Sorbo was an Israelite, but, you know, he has Edomite supremacy in his mind. All right? He directed it, starred in it. I think he may have produced it also. I'm not sure. They just go back to the Wikipedia page or IMBD. But uh, let's go here. Revelation. So this does not link up with Revelation, the first chapter, or Daniel 10, 5, and 6. Or um, what uh, the uh, what Genesis one, Genesis first and second chapter they don't link up, so this is a this is not a real uh, Israelite from the tribe of Judah. This is the uh, in the form of the uh, Caucasian uh, Christianity lie. This is you go to Revelation the first chapter to find out what the the Jews look like. Go to the 14th verse, and his head and his hairs were white like wool, all right, because it's describing his hair color, all right, not his skin color. His head and his hairs were white like wool and white as white as snow. He was pure, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, meaning they were glowing, all right. The scriptures tell you about the, uh, if your eye is full of light, 
All right. Light represents no knowledge, intelligence, being able to see clearly. All right. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now it describes his, his skin color. All right. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So he was dark, dark skinned man. All right. That was glowing. All right. This is Yahweh Shai in the spirit. He is in his full strength. And his feet like in the fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. All right. So this is the Lord Yahweh Shai and his angelic form. Similar to his uh, transfiguration when he showed the, uh, the top apostles. His. Uh, part of his true form. All right. So this this. That just don't add up when you look at this this movie. All right. So let's go to the next next one. Twenty one eighteen. Enter. Unless you're gonna at least try to stop acting like a crazy conspiracy theorist. Whoa, who are you calling a conspiracy theorist? Oh, so you're just admitting to being crazy? Yes, I'm quite comfortable with that. Shut the door. Here. So Kothran and his Dominator Analytics provides virtually all the raw data the UN compiles, all of it. Surveys, research studies, polls, these guys do it all. And they've got the market cornered. So you're saying they can just stand up and tell the world anything they want and they'd be able to back it up with fake stats? Yep. What about the vanishings? All those reports about the Earth's total mass not changing that day. Statistics about how many people disappeared, who they were, how they might have been different from the rest of us, those? Yep. All of it came through Dominator. Wow. Well, at least we know what Catherine's agenda is. He's a crisis to get us to accept changes that we wouldn't have otherwise. When you have complete control over the narrative like that guy does, I mean, you can turn anything into a crisis. Yeah, that's all true? But Cawthorn's not the guy calling the shots. He's just another suit. So who's calling the shots? These are interconnected corporations. 15 television networks. 120 individual stations, almost 300 newspapers. Remember newspapers? Let's see, uh, two Hollywood film studios, 14 of the top 20 magazines. Believe it or not, the two biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world. That's how we got rich off COVID. But here's one you might find interesting. He's your boss. GWN, no, that's not right. GWN's owned by the Dornan family. No, oh, uh, have you ever met the Dornans? No. That's because there is no Dornan family, never was. Jack Dornan never married, didn't have a family. He's been dead for 30 years. All of these companies are run directly or, or indirectly by one man, Jonathan Stoliga. Wait, the Eden guy? One and the same. He's been pushing something called the Great Reset for years, a true New World Order globalist. I wouldn't have a hard time getting this message out. I mean, what, Eden alone already has five billion users? No, six and a half now. Sheesh. What's amazing is that he tripled his wealth during the COVID pandemic, and he tripled it again in the aftermath of the vanishings. Let's go. I was muted. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and uh, 3. This is the Antichrist. The, the, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwells in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, saith the, that saith in his heart, Who 
shall bring me down to the ground. Thou so exalt, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. All right, so this is a proud man. It's the most proudest uh, nation on the earth. It's not talking about one person, because one person can't do this. This is a conglomerate of people that work together. All right, and they're of one nationality. They're the Edomites. All right. Though thou exalt, exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars. All right, meaning they have the, uh, in lower orbit, they have the uh, space station. And they have satellites. Thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. All right, that's, that's your Antichrist. The Antichrist is Esau, Edom. All right. When you do your research on Edom, you'll find out that future great future judgment. This is man is so wicked that you go down to the to the bottom. This is this is how we know that the Edomites are the Antichrist. All right, which is not one person. It's mo it's a group of elite peoples. All right, that are of the same nation, the nation of Edom. This is how evil these people are. This is what's going to have to happen to them. You go down to the 18th verse it says and the house of jacob shall be a fire and the house of joseph a flame this is not going to happen to anyone else on earth all right and the house of esau for stubble so it's not esau by himself it's that his house i mean his progeny all right his descendants and the house of jacob for a fire and the house of joseph for a flame of a flame of fire and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. So this is what's going to happen to the Antichrist, all right? The Edomites, they're going to be totally burnt up. This is not going to happen to any other nation on earth besides the Antichrist. They're going to be burnt up, all right? So if you're looking for who the Antichrist is, oh, you, just, you go to Obadiah, the first chapter, all right? He exalts himself as an eagle. He's in space. All right, they're the first to do it, whether it been the uh, the Russians or the uh, Americans or the different uh, European nations ruled by the uh, Caucasian Edomites. All right, they all have similar agendas and, and technology. That's how we know who they are. They're the Edomites. All right, that you search the scriptures and you find out the different uh, technological feats that they're going to accomplish. And they've accomplished the uh, going into the lower lower orbit with the satellites of space, and it and he's proud. Pride pride uh, means high. Let me uh like real high. Let's see the third verse, and we're gonna look up pride. Well, arrogance, pride, insolence, presumptuousness, pride, proud. Go to the root. Oh, let's go to the word. Uh, Pride. We got Zedawan, and it goes back to Zawad. We got Zedawan, and it goes into the etymology Zawad, and it means to boil up, seethe, act proudly. I mean, to boil when they, when they, they they want up, they literally want up into space. All right. Now, they can't do no interstellar travel. That's a damn lie. But they're out there in lower orbit. All right? To be high. Seath. Act proudly. All right? And let's go to the last 3150. It goes into the implant. And I'll close the lesson out there. 3150. Now, there's a lot here. I'll be here all day trying to review this whole movie. So let's end it with 3150. He is indistinguishable from magic. What I take away from that, any sufficiently advanced technology is... Arthur C. Clarke once said that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Yeah, and the Apostle has said that, that the, uh, this is Esau's power. This is his, uh, his magic, his modern-day magic, his the, the uh, technology. All right? So, yeah, they, uh, they're on point on that point. 
right, so it's going to go into something called Eden Pay. What I take away from that is we don't need to look for magic just because we don't understand how something works. I just got a report that we are about to begin our coverage of the UN press conference. Less than a year ago, if someone had told me that millions of people were just going to disappear, I, like you, would have said they were crazy. Fast forward to today, and the unimaginable has become real. And with the news that the vanishings were not simply a one-time event, we should all be reminded that we have no choice but to face this unprecedented threat together. Not as individual nation states divided by rivers or mountains or thousands of years of war, but as one people, united at last. <laughs> Fellow citizens of the world. Now I'll just read the scripture, the, uh, uh, and then let the rest of it play out. Revelation 13 and 15, and, and he had power. So this is the Antichrist, like I just proved. The Antichrist means that you're against the opposition of the Messiah and his, uh, the, uh, his disciples. All right. Uh, it says, and he had power to give life into the image of the beast, and that, it's like it, that the image of the beast, beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Meaning you follow along with the program of the system. All right. It doesn't necessarily mean you, you bowing down and kissing the hand. Meaning you, you uh, agree, meaning, but by your obedience. All right. That's what it means to worship. And he calls with all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And you do 18 verse talks about uh, chai Xai stigma, which is six, six, six. All right. And um, I believe that's what he's alluding to when he when he's about to uh, speak. And he could use like disappearing. This could be predictive programming also as a reason to track you with the implant. I, I'm just, I, that just came to my head a few minutes ago. Because there, there, there's going to be no rapture. All right? The rapture means you're going to be taken away before tribulation. No, the elect are going to go through tribulation and be refined like I started off with. All right? Be brought through that figurative fire. And the, uh, well, you can say in literally because simultaneously the fire is going to be coming down. And the elect are going to go up. But, they're not act, but the elect are not going to feel any of that fire. All right, so I let this rest play. Uh, interpret this how you will. Uh, Shalom. Welcome to the future. Welcome to a new reality. A great reset where we move from a tribal mentality to a united and unstoppable force ready to face any challenge because there is no greater power in the universe than a unified human race. As you already know, the second wave of vanishings, even though the extent is not yet known, has thrown the financial markets back into chaos. And while the major stock exchanges quickly closed, the losses were already catastrophic from panic selling in every country in the world. The World Monetary Fund has also issued a formal warning that more than 100 countries will likely be bankrupt within 60 days. And within a year, more than 90% of the world's citizens will be living in poverty. Fortunately, we have a solution. And there it was, a surreal moment to say the least. One of the most powerful men on the planet standing in front of the world and promising a one world economy a one world currency, and a path to peace and prosperity. Exactly the system the Bible told us was coming. And unsurprisingly, the people, and especially the news media, just gobbled it up. Today, under emergency conditions and with a nearly unanimous consent, the United Nations has voted to approve and mandate the electronic payment technology known as OTM, created by Israeli Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Chaim Rosenzweig. Now, the reason I'm part of this announcement, the electronic payment technology known as OTM, created by Israeli Nobel Prize winner, Dr. Chaim Rosenzweig. 
Now, the reason I'm part of this announcement is that Eden, the largest social media platform ever, has agreed to make all our resources available to the UN free of charge in order to ensure that we can implement Eden Pay worldwide in a matter of weeks. Let me introduce the inventor of on the mark digital technologies, Dr. Chaim Rosenzweig. Well, you'll be the first interview. Stand by. Ready, studio. So good to see you again. Mr. Sonegal, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us tonight. Now, this is a lot bigger news than I think most people actually realize. I mean, Mr. Sonegal, you must have jumped through a lot of hoops to get this to where it is at the UN, correct? Well, there are some very smart people in extremely powerful positions around the world, and they see the need and wisely recognize Eden Pay as the best solution. Now, you said that you had essentially unanimous support from the UN membership. Can I assume that essentially unanimous is different from unanimous? Well, a few of the members have questions, but that's to be expected. Fortunately, none that we can't answer. Do you mind telling us who the holdouts are? Uh, all nations have formally agreed with two exceptions, Romania and Israel. Interesting. Dr. Rosenzweig, I'm, I'm a little confused by that. Why would Israel be holding out? I mean, isn't Eden built on Israeli technology? Israel has not signed the agreement yet because there are deal terms to be negotiated. Are those financial terms? Oh, no, no, nothing of that sort. There are other issues involved, including ongoing peace talks. We want to ensure that Eden ushers in an era of peace for Israel and indeed for the entire world. So we actually have peace in the Middle East as a deal term. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>